friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. It is Wednesday night, quarter to 11 p.m., um, March 25th, 2015. I'm just doing a quick update because I don't want anyone to think I'm neglecting them. I have not been able to do a lot of answering of comments or emails uh, because I'm really, really, really tired. And I'm going to be down and out probably for the next two days because I washed my kitchen floor and my bathroom floor today. That's the way it works. It took me four hours to sweep and wash my kitchen and bathroom floor. And they're not that big. And I didn't do that great of a job in the kitchen. God, I remember the days when I used to be able to wash my, hand, wash my floors on my hands and knees and get every little corner and crevice. Um, as a matter of fact, I used to clean for a living. At one point, I used to do house cleaning. It's amazing um, how fast you can deteriorate when my fibromyalgia um, sets in. It's worse than arthritis. It's worth, worse than my arthritis because it hits you and you're down and that's it. So um, because it took me four hours to sweep and wash my kitchen and bathroom floor. Um, I'm going to have to rest for a couple of days. And in the meantime, I've got one incubator of turkey eggs uh, that I've candled. And out of 20, I've got 14 that are possibly viable. There's a video coming up on that. I'm about to, I've got my second incubator started up and tomorrow I'm hoping to put more turkey eggs in that. And then there's my big homemade incubator, which I'm hoping to put more turkey eggs in that. Because there's a lot of folks in my area who actually want heritage uh, turkey poults. And I'm, I'm kind of fussy when I, when I, if I'm going to, you know, barter or share or sell any of these little turkey poults, I'm not going to let them go before a week old because if you don't know what you're doing when you're starting turkeys, they're very, very delicate in the first few days. I mean, they can get a chill if the water is not body temperature and it can kill them. A chill can kill a turkey chick, okay? An internal chill. So I've got that stuff going on. I've got my little cabbages growing and I, for some reason, a lot, most of my tomato plants died. I, I have two Dolly tomato plants and thank you for the lady who sent me those seeds. The uh, hog heart tomatoes did not take. Anyway, I guess what I'm saying is, is I'm going to be spending, other than doing the absolute necessities of meals and the dish and running the dishwasher, I'm going to be spending the next couple of days um, trying to rest because if I push myself now after four hours of sweeping and washing two floors, um, I, could, I could be setting myself up for a really bad fibromyalgia attack that would knock me into bed for a few days. So I have to, I'm learning my limitations. That's what I'm saying. I'm not whining, I'm just learning my limitations. Anyway, <clears throat> folks, I'm not disappearing. So if you don't see me answering comments or um, answering emails, it's because I have to avoid the computer because the computer means work and, it, and I'll get caught up in it and I'll forget that I'm supposed to be resting for the next couple of days. As for um, that being my last rant, the, the uh, rant I just did, and if you noticed, I didn't say anything. I just let the, t the headlines do the talking. When I say that's my last rant, I mean it's my last railing at the world about what's wrong with it. Okay? If there's one thing I've learned that sometimes shaking your fist will allow you to vent, but it doesn't give you a solution. And I'm going to do my best when I find something wrong to work in solution. And if I work in solution, then I will share that with you. Absolutely. If I find a problem and I find a, a reason to hope that the, the problem can be fixed, I will share that. But I'm just not, I'm just not going to rant without solution anymore. Okay. So I'm going to take the next couple of days off 
and um, if, if I don't answer comments and I don't answer emails, today's Wednesday, so on Friday you can be guaranteed that I will be answering questions. So once again, if you have a question for me, please email me at mrswolfie at gmail.com, put in the subject line, question, and I will print it off, and if I don't have six zillion questions, then I will do my best to answer them all on Friday. And soon, coming up, uh, Jane All Zero and I are going to be doing another um, Sunday night, Sunday night with uh, Mrs. Wolfie and Jane All Zero, because right now things are a little bit slow. We're, we're not putting in gardens. We're hatching, but we're not putting in gardens. We're not weeding. We're, I don't even know how I'm going to do that this year. So anyway, the rants, as you know them, are ending. But I'm hoping to be able to talk about things in the future that bother me and maybe work in solution. Because if there's anything I've learned, well, let me just say this. This is the most, Mrs. I'm tired. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our half acre homestead saying fear and negative emotion can paralyze, but hope and faith can mobilize. Take care. I'll talk to you all on Friday.